Hey everybody, my name is Andrew. I've been making websites for over 15 years now. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a website like this, or like this, or like this. We're gonna build a website on top of WordPress and we're gonna install a theme. And with this one theme, you can pretty much set up any website you want. You can, you can build an e-commerce website like this. You can build a business website like this. You can build a photography website like this. You can build a blog like this. You can build a restaurant website like this. You can build a coming soon page with a little countdown. You can build a website for a construction business or whatever this is. You can build a website for a wedding. You can build a resume. You can build a website for a health coach or a health website. You can build a website for a gym. And you can build a website for an app. With this one theme, there are over 20 demos and you can pretty much just install any of them with one click then go in and modify some of the content to put your content in it and that's it you're going to be you're pretty much done it's a very simple process you don't need to know how to code you don't need to know html javascript css none of that it's basically going to be clicking and dragging you're going to save yourself thousands of dollars by doing it yourself so you don't have to hire a web developer and like i said you're going to do it all on your own i'm also going to show you how to make um how to make a contact page I'm going to show you how to make an about us page. I'm going to show you how to make a blog page. And I'm going to show you how to make a portfolio page that's very similar to this, maybe even better. But more specifically, the front page of our website, after we're done with this tutorial, is going to look very similar to this. It's going to have a huge uh, picture in the background is going to have a transparent logo, transparent menu, and I really like I really like these captions right here. So I'm going to take those captions with the square buttons. I'm going to add them here. And on this page, I really like the bottom portion here. Like I really like these icons and I like all this stuff right here. So we're going to take this and we're going to cut it cut and paste it into our main homepage. It's super simple. I'm going to show you how to use templates and where you can basically just take these different elements and cut and paste them and just lay out your website however you want. Another thing I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to make a logo. Not this exact logo, very similar to this. You can have an icon and some text beside it. I'm also going to show you where to get free images, kind of like this, very similar. Not exactly the same, but I'm going to show you a place where you can get free images for your website so you can build a gallery or a portfolio or whatever. Well, I'm going to be making a dummy portfolio. You're probably going to be using your own images. And uh, I'm also going to show you how to use where to get a free image editor like Photoshop. This uh, It's called Pixlr.com and it works like photoshop you don't have to pay for it it's free it's got a ton of features you don't even have to install it it just simply works in your web browser so i'm going to show you all of those things also i'm going to show you how to use how to install wordpress plugins and what plugins do is they pretty much extend the functionality of your wordpress site into anything you want you can create an e-commerce page by adding an e-commerce plugin so you can create an e-commerce website by installing an e-commerce plugin you can install an SEO plugin to help you with your SEO. You can install a plugin that can help you collect 
people's emails so you can put them on your email list there are pretty much thousands and thousands of plugins you can install you can install some of them are free some of them are not the free ones there there's a bunch of really really great ones and there's some really good paid ones that can help you uh, add like a membership to your website where you can charge people to read your content and yeah there's basically tons and tons of plugins that you can install there's a really nice uh, free plugin called WooCommerce so you can set up an e-commerce store for free pretty much the plugin doesn't cost you anything you can also create a community page like a forum um, website where people can ask questions and you can provide answers um, yeah like you can turn your website into anything you want with plugins so there are pretty much three basic steps that you gotta follow to create a website and I've outlined them right here first thing you're gonna need is a domain name now a domain name is something like your name.com or your business name.com and uh, that costs about 12 bucks a year sometimes the price changes I don't know it could be like 12 13 maybe 15 but let's just say it's 12 bucks a year <clears throat> you're also gonna need web hosting web hosting is basically a server that you rent that your website lives on all you have to do is sign up pay 10 bucks a month install WordPress with one click and you're done like you, even though I'm saying it's a web server and it sounds like scary or whatever you just sign up put in your credit card 10 bucks a month that's it also guys I've provided you a coupon code DIY 25 if you use this coupon code you're gonna get 25% off if you're getting hosting for like a year or two years or three years if you're buying a package like that if you're buying hosting for one month please use this discount uh, coupon code DIY one cent and by the way guys I get a small commission if you use these coupon codes and at the same time you're saving yourself money so like it's a win-win situation and that's the only way I'm able to provide these free videos and like if you've used my coupon code please email me if you're having trouble building your website send me an email it's uh, my email address is websites DIY 15 at gmail.com so just send me an email with your questions tell me you've used my coupon code and you know I great, greatly appreciate that uh, the second step we're gonna do is the second step is installing WordPress and like I said like WordPress is free you just have to install it with one click and you're set the third and final step is where we're gonna install a theme and then we're gonna add your content now when it comes to themes there are pretty much two types of themes they're free themes and they're paid themes premium themes free themes are from my experience and I've been doing this for years it's you're gonna waste your time you, it's it's a total headache and usually they start off as free and when you start using them you run into problems where you have to upgrade so at the end you're gonna pay anyways and sometimes you even have to switch a theme because your free theme was a total piece of crap so switching themes is not that easy once your website is fully built so it's very smart I would totally recommend it just start off nice and clean buy a professional theme spend 50 bucks and you're gonna save yourself hours days even weeks believe me I've gone through this exercise numerous times numerous times and just just buy a theme just get a theme and the theme we're gonna be using here is 59 bucks and but it's like one of the best themes I've used I've used many different premium themes and this one is fast like I showed you like all these different websites I was showing you how to make you can make all of them with this one theme it's super fast it works great I love it I totally recommend it and I'm gonna show you how to get all of this stuff and how to make like a sick website like this so anyways let's begin okay so the first step is to get your domain name and web hosting and you can do both of these in one place at HostGator so go to the link below the video in the description and click on HostGator hosting you will be taken to this website right here and here you have all these different hosting options now we're not going to be using WordPress hosting even though we're installing a WordPress website because this is specialized WordPress hosting that's supposed to be two and a half times faster than regular hosting so because you're just starting to build your website now and you're a beginner you don't need to go you don't need to get all fancy and buy this crazy plan right here so what we're gonna do is I've always been using regular hosting and it works perfectly fine for WordPress been doing it for years and it's much cheaper right so you have three plans uh, under here under web hosting just to click the link in the top left corner so the business plan we're not gonna need and the business plan pretty much offers you 
an SSL certificate, and an IP address. And the only reason you would need something like this is for an e-commerce website where you're accepting credit cards. But we're not building an e-commerce website here, so we're not going to need this. The other two plans left are the baby plan and the hatchling plan. Now, these are pretty much equal. And the only difference is on the baby plan, you can create multiple websites. You can add unlimited domains. And on the hatchling plan, you can add only one. Now, if you're just starting starting out, you can always upgrade the hatchling plan later on to the baby plan. So I would strongly recommend just sign up for the uh, hatchling plan. Simple plan, one site, one click install, unlimited bandwidth. And later on, if you want to upgrade and you want to make more websites, you can always upgrade. So click on sign up. And this will take you to the sign up page. Now, before you do, you do anything, guys, please scroll down and enter the coupon code that I gave you. DIY25 and click on validate. This will give you 25% off if you're buying if you're buying 12 months, 24 months or 36 months, that makes sense. If you're going to buy one month, I would recommend using a coupon code DIY1 cent. If you use that code your, one cent, your first month hosting is going to be one penny right here, one penny a month. But if you want to get 12 months or 24 or 36, just type in the DIY25 coupon code. So that's what I'm going to use here. DIY25, validate, and we're done. Okay, so at the top, here's where you pick your domain name. So let's say we type in facebook.com. Oops, facebook.com. As you can see, it's not available because it's taken, obviously. So I'm going to type in my dom uh, just a random domain name that I want to just to see if anything's available. So just type in some gibberish or type in your name and see if it's available. As you can see, okay, this name is available. So type in whatever name you want and get the .com. If you can get the .com go for the .net or .org. .me is pretty nice. Um, .co is also really nice. But if you can get the .com, get the .com. Down here, you have an option to add privacy to your domain name. Now what this means is, when you get a domain name, anybody can see who the owner of that domain name is. So let's say, this is how you do it. In order to check who the owner of a domain name is, you go to who.is press enter and type in facebook.com scroll down and this shows you who owns Facebook right this is their address obviously it's not going to show Mark Zuckerberg because the domain is owned by Facebook Inc but this is what this is what I mean if you buy a domain name without privacy your information will be shown here. So if your name is Bob Smith, like you're going to be here with your address and everything else. Now the reason you don't you don't have to get this. You really don't need to, but sometimes it's beneficial and I'll tell you why. Once I got a domain name without privacy and literally like 2 days later I started getting telephone calls from marketers who found my name and started calling me offering website services, which was really annoying right so if you don't want people knowing who you are or bothering you or if you want to make i don't know a website where you want to hide your identity you would use this privacy right here but we're not going to use it in this tutorial then go down decide what you want and like i said use the coupon codes i've provided you so i'm going to sign up for one month or actually sorry let's sign up for a year There we go. Type in your username. And my computer is just super slow today. And then type in a, just a random pin number, whatever. Then enter your billing information. Now I've already bought this uh, hosting, so I can't buy it again. It will not go through. And there's no point, right? Like you just enter your billing information here and you're done. Then go here and then check all these options. Protect your site from hackers. WordPress is already secure on its own. You don't need this. Professional email. You can already set up email at your domain name. You don't have to hook it up to Google. Backup your hard work. Backups, you can do them manually. You don't have to 
do automatic backups or if you want you can always add these later in your control panel if you decide to but for now we're not going to use it SSL certificate we don't want that okay so you'll get your total you'll get you'll get your discount and just click on the terms that you've read them and click on checkout now I've already done this so I'm not gonna you know it's not gonna let me check out but check out and then you will get an email 